Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India our online NPTEL course Environmental Chemistry and Microbiology. This course will be taught by Professor Shudha Goel and myself Professor Anjali Pal. We are both from the Civil Engineering Department of IIT Kharagpur. We have divided this course into two parts Environmental Chemistry and, and Microbiology. The Environmental Chemistry part will be covered by me and the second part environmental microbiology will be taught by Professor Shudha Goel. This is the module 2 that is chemical equilibrium and this is the lecture number 8. In this uh, lecture I will cover many important aspects of chemical equilibrium that is the solubility product, solubility, common ion effect and the applications. We know that solubility product is very very important for chemical equilibrium. All solids we know that even if they are very very insoluble still they are to some extent they are soluble. For example, silver chloride and barium sulphate we know very very insoluble, but in contact with water they slightly dissolve and they produce the corresponding ions and they establish the following following equilibriums. Okay. So, AgCl solid this is the way to write solid also in some books you will see that underline is there to, to, to make you understand that it is a solid and some part goes to solution to form the Ag plus aqueous chloride minus aqueous similarly from barium sulphate barium 2 plus aqueous and sulphate 2 minus aqueous. Now, we already know the, the equilibrium expression how to develop. So, for equation 1 we can write that K is equals to silver plus ion concentration that is aqueous phase into chloride ion concentration in aqueous phase by silver chloride in the solid phase the concentration of silver chloride in the solid phase. So, this one we know that the I have shown you the rules to be followed in the chemical equilibrium. So, this is a constant because this is solid. So, this is a constant and then k is if you place this is a constant then in that case k s p we call it k s p. So, k s p is so basically a g c l this constant will go this side k into k dash say for example that will be Ksp and this is nothing but silver plus ion concentration into chloride ion concentration. K is called solubility product. We have seen that different ways we can express the, the equilibrium constant. Say for example, in case of acid dissociation we write Ka, in case of base dissociation we write weak base Kb, in case of water dissociation we write Kw here also that way we write this is also equilibrium constant, but we call it solubility product and we express in this way K S P. This is a very important term actually for chemical equilibrium. It is constant, it is a constant at a particular temperature all equilibrium constants are constants at a particular temperature. In almost all textbooks or handbooks dealing with qualitative and quantitative analysis the solubility product values are available. You can see it as a list they show at 25 degree centigrade what is the solubility product values. In a similar way for a complex salt such as this is a very simple this is a very simple formula AgCl barium sulphate. So, to, to develop the equilibrium expression is very easy, 
but for a salt like this CA 3 PO 4 calcium phosphate CA 3 PO 4 twice how to develop the equilibrium expression that has been shown. So, 1 mole of calcium phosphate produces 3 moles of calcium 2 plus and 2 moles of phosphate 3 minus. So, in that case K S P will be calcium 2 plus concentration to the power 3 into phosphate ion concentration to the power 2 because here the stoichiometry is 3 and 2 that is why it comes as a power. Now, this is very important this is solubility. Okay. So, in the previous slide we have seen the solubility product here we will see what is solubility. Okay. So, here you see that barium sulphate if we take this particular example barium sulphate goes to barium 2 plus aqueous plus sulphate 2 minus aqueous. Now, we know that solubility product of barium sulphate at 25 degree centigrade this value is given in some books in uh, textbooks. So, it is nothing but 1 is to 10 to the power minus 10. Now, if the solubility is S, if the solubility of barium sulphate is S for example, then the concentration of barium 2 plus will also be S and concentration of sulphate 2 minus is also S. So, from the equilibrium expression of barium sulphate you can write that K S P is S into S that is this value which is which you can obtain from textbooks. Now, then what is S? S is the solubility. So, S is nothing but nothing but 1 into 10 to the minus 5 this is the solubility of barium sulphate. This is a very simple case, but in case of calcium fluoride say for example. So, from 1 mole of calcium fluoride we get 1 mole of calcium 2 plus and 2 moles of fluoride minus. So, exp equilibrium expression if we write then K S P is nothing but S into 2 S to the power 2 that means, the the um, S is the solubility. So, here it comes K S P is 4 S cube which we can get the K S P value from any book we, this is nothing but 3 into 10 to the power 11. So, if you see these two solubility product values then here the barium sulphate solubility product is in the order of 10 to the power minus 10, but here it is 10 to the power minus 11. Okay. So, here it is higher value here it is lower value, but just by looking at the solubility product values and comparing we cannot say who is more soluble and who is less soluble. So, for example, here if we solve this then we will get that solubility of calcium fluoride is nothing but 19.6 this is almost 20 into 10 to the minus 5, but here the solubility is 10 to the power minus 5. So, here it is 20 times higher than this one. So, although solubility product of barium sulphate is higher compared to calcium fluoride, but solubility of calcium fluoride is higher compared to barium sulphate. So, it can be said that calcium fluoride is 20 times more soluble than barium sulphate. So, looking at the solubility product immediately without thinking we can tell that okay, whose solubility product is higher. So, this is more soluble, but it is not like that. Now, understanding the phenomena of precipitation, we know that what is saturated solution, what is unsaturated solution and what is super saturated solution. What is unsaturated solution? Taking a simple example we can write that it is A B. So, A, cons a plus concentration into B, B minus concentration if it is less than the solubility product of A B then it is an unsaturated solution. Once the K S P is reached by this then it will become a saturated solution. When it just reaches the K S P it is a saturated solution, but when it goes under certain conditions the, the A plus concentration into B minus concentration this can be higher than the K S P like this you see here then then this solution is a super saturated solution okay and in the super saturated solution sometimes we see that if if we disturb it little bit then the the the, the this one this ab in this case it will immediately it will precipitate to some extent to become the just a saturated solution 
this we can see in crystallization also. So, for example, if you, you want to make some crystals okay, of something, say for example, uh, sodium chloride. So, you make or say sugar. Okay. So, you make a very saturated solution and then very saturated means almost super saturated solution. Then you put a single crystal of that material, then you will see lot of crystals are coming that is called seeding. Okay. So, this thing happens that is that means you are disturbing the super saturated solution. So, that some it will try to remove some crystal some salt from there to get just the saturated solution. Now, this is common an effect on solubility very very important. Say for example, we have a uh, electrolyte B A whose solubility is S moles per liter ok B A you see which will give B plus plus A minus ok and the solubility is S moles per liter. Now, there another an electrolyte say C A what is what is interesting feature here in B A and C A both this is the common thing A minus is common. So, so in B A solution where the solubility is a moles per liter we are adding another electrolyte which is C A ok and A is A minus is common. Then what will happen ok in that case you see initially when it was alone then solubility is S means K S P is S square, but now we are adding C A and what is the concentration of C A this is the C moles per liter. Then after adding C A the solubility will no more be S ok it will change how it will be changed because the concentration of A minus is now higher it is now S if the new solubility is S dash then it is S dash plus C. So, it is higher than S ok. So, when it is higher then S dash should be lower to keep the KSP constant that means, the solubility will will be lowered. Okay. So, common ion effect means you are adding a common ion then the solubility of the original electrolyte will go down okay, resulting in the decrease in its solubility and the new solubility of B A is S dash. So, I explained already this thing the solubility of an electrolyte is thus decreased by the presence of a common ion however, the solubility product remains the constant. So, one important question I have given here how to get pure sodium chloride precipitate from a solution of, uh, of a sodium chloride solution. How will you do it? You take the so concentrated sodium chloride solution okay, and then you pass HCl gas through it. So, what you are doing in sodium chloride solution chloride is common chloride is common. Now, you are passing HCl where you are adding a common ion which is nothing but chloride ion. So, what will happen the the some sodium will go go out of the phase. So, it will be precipitated as sodium chloride. So, you will get pure sodium chloride as a precipitate. Now, common ion effect on solubility I have already told you what will well, what will happen if you add a common ion to some electric electrolyte ok. Now, here is the it is the quantitative approach it is shown here it is um, um, it is the example is given with barium sulphate. Say for example, in I have already explained that barium sulphate the solubility is 1 into 10 to the minus 5 molar ok. Now, if barium 2 plus say for example, barium chloride I am adding it is increased by addition of outside source say for example, barium chloride. So, some concentration was already there now we are adding some extra extra barium ion concentration that is through the application of barium chloride. Barium chloride is strong electrolyte so it will dissociate completely. Then what will happen what will happen to the barium sulphate ok that is the that is that is shown here. Now, KSP is constant KSP is nothing but this can be given by this expression and barium sulphate also the this is the equilibrium expression this is the equilibrium uh, reaction ok. Now, what we have done for example, let us assume that we have added barium chloride with in this concentration this concentration we have added 
okay, 10 into 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter is added to the above solution. This will cause in the formation of an additional y moles of precipitated barium sulphate. When the barium concentration will be increased, then what will happen? Some barium concentration, some uh, some barium sulphate has to be uh, going out of phase. Okay, some barium sulphate should be precipitated, but how much? How much will be uh, precipitated? And when barium sulphate is precipitated, then sulphate and sulphate and concentration will also go down. But how much? That we want to see. Okay, this is the new new in the new expression this is the concentration. So, it was originally there for barium now we are adding this one and now some amount of barium uh, sulphate is precipitated. So, that is y. Okay. So, here it is also y. Now, what is happening to sulphate concentration? It was originally there now y concentration is going out. So, this is the uh, final concentration. Now, if we put it in the equilibrium expression then K s p is nothing but barium ion concentration this is nothing but 10 plus 1. So, 11, 11 into 10 to minus 5 minus y into this sulphate ion concentration this is a new concentration. So, this one and this is the solubility product. So, if you solve this then you will see that y is nothing but 0 0.9 into 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter. Okay. So, what is the final concentration then the for barium it is this minus y that means after solving this is the 10.1 into 10 to minus 5 moles per liter. What is the concentration of sulphate now final concentration this is 0.1 into 10 to the minus 5 molar originally how much originally it was 1 into 10 to the minus 5 molar, but after adding barium um, barium chloride it is reduced almost 10 times. So, it is observed that sulphate and concentration is reduced considerably this is an application of common ion effect. So, when the sulphate and concentration is reduced that means, lot of barium sulphate has been precipitated. So, in this way sulphate determination is done by adding enough excess amount of barium chloride. So, that almost all sulphate ion is precipitated as barium sulphate. Okay. This is used extensively in environmental engineering practice and in analytical chemistry to accomplish complete precipitation of the desired ions. This is also true for hardness removal. As I told you from the uh, from the outside we are adding some carbonate or hydroxide to get precipitate the calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide uh, to remove the hardness. Now, coin, common ion effect on ionization this is this is general thing, but uh, uh, we have seen in buffer also ammonium hydroxide ammonium chloride buffer or acetic acid acetate ion buffer. So, what is happening here the ionization of a weak electrolyte a weak acid or a base in this case it is the ammonium hydroxide in this case it is the acetic acid in solution is suppressed in presence of largely ionized salt having a common ion that means, in this case ammonium chloride if we add then this is the common ion. So, common ion means when this concentration is increased then what will happen the uh, to to keep the K B constant ammonium hydroxide should be should be dissociated even less. Okay. Then what will happen we can control we can control the concentration of which minus in this case also if we add acetate ion then we can control the dissociation of acetic acid in that way we can control the H plus ion concentration. The larger the quantity of added salt the smaller the ionization of weak, weak electrode. If we increase the concentration of ammonium chloride still it will be less uh, dissociated. Okay. So, dissociation will be still lesser. Okay. If we increase this concentration then the acetic acid, uh, acetic acid will be dissociated even in less concentration. Okay. So, the so degree of dissociation will be less. Okay. Thus, the common ion effect affords a method for controlling the concentration of ions furnished by, by a weak electrolyte. So, this has enormous applications in many cases say for example, in group separation those who are in chemistry background they will, they will see it in group separation what is there here all the sulphide uh, salts are considered you can see here mercury sulphide and copper sulphide and cadmium sulphide you see the solubility product you can see here 
it is so less, it is very very insoluble compared to this zinc sulphide and mang manganese sulphide, sulphide ok. So, what is happening on passing H 2 S gas into a solution of salts of these metals, the metal sulphides will precipitate precipitate when only when M 2 plus uh, ion concentration into sulphide ion concentration exceeds the solubility product that is K S P. This we have seen already that the saturated solution, unsaturated solution and supersaturated solution o only when this will reach the K S P value then only they will be precipitated. Now, in case of H 2 S we see if we consider this equation then we will see that here the a saturated solution of H 2 S is 0 0.1 molar at 25 degree centigrade and the concentration of sulphide ion it produces is can be written in this way the from the equilibrium expression it can be written in this way. Now, if we increase the H plus ion concentration that means, if we consider the acidic solution when this is increased then this concentration is much less sulphide ion concentration should be much less and at that concentration only those sulphides those metal sulphides will be precipitated who has very low solubility product value. This will not be precipitated, but this will be precipitated. So, in under acidic condition and acidic condi conditions because sulphide and concentration is less. So, only this will be precipitated if you have a mixture of all these then sulphides of only these three metals will be precipitated under acidic condition when you pass the H 2 S gas ok, but the other this this will not be precipitated and they are precipitated why FES, ZNS, MNS etcetera will remain in solution, they will remain in solution, but they will precipitate ok. This is an elegant demonstration of solubility product and common ion effect which has been used in group separation in analytical chemistry. Now, chemical equilibrium this is a very simple examples to understand what is solubility and what is solubility product. Here it is given silver chromate Ag 2 CrO 4 is red solid that dissolves in water to the extent of atho gram per liter at 25 degree centigrade then what is the Ksp value. It is very simple you have to first uh, set up the equilibrium expression, then the um, set up the equation balanced equation, then set up the equilibrium expression, then you find out the um, here you have seen that this is grams per liter. So, you have to express in moles per liter um, this is the unit moles per liter and then you have to put it in the uh, Ksp value because Ksp is um, to know the Ksp we need to have the solubility values you put the solubility values in the expression and then you get the you, you get the Ksp value which is nothing but 10 to the minus 12 order order of 10 to the minus 12. Now, as the conclusion we can say that in this lecture it has been explained how electrolytic dissociation enable us to determine the conditions under which a substance dissolves or forms the precipitate. So, solubility product is the key factor that will tell you whether uh, under which condition it will precipitate, precipitate, but Ksp value is constant, but solubility you can vary by adding either common ion or without adding common ion you can you can uh, change the solubility which we need um, to know whether it is in solution phase or it is it has to be precipitated out. Okay. So, it is a very important thing to know in chemical equilibrium in process engineering uh, or in environmental engineering or in analytical chemistry what is the concept of solubility product and solubility and what is the common ion effect. Thank you.